guys you welcome back thanks for clicking so there's an on the ground church in china in which there's no bible there's no missionary there's nothing is an organ on the ground church in china wow i'm so eager to know what this church entails wow let's check it out few places in the world are seeing the explosion of god's power like the underground church in china is experiencing wow. And in the last 60 years, China's communist government has done its best to wipe Christianity off the map. What you are about to see is some of the rarest footage on the planet. In this church, the people wake up at 4.30 to come together for two hours to pray and worship. Oh, wow. They do this every day. Ah, uh ah. -uh. That's for to 630. This church meets in the only place they're safe, a cave. Ah. Oh. My God. What's going on in China? This church meets on a farm, far away from prying baby. eyes. Oh, wow. Here's an example of an underground church outreach. The people sitting are Christians. The people who are standing are not. Mm. This particular preacher was once crippled, but was healed when someone prayed for her. She now preaches the good news of Jesus to anyone who will listen. In this particular meeting, over 1,000 people became Christians. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Hmm. <laughs> Here, Christians cast out demons from an 18 year old girl. She's now a preacher. Mm -hmm. In Shanghai alone, there are over 3,000 house churches, just like this one. One thing Dennis pointed out to me was that most of the underground churches in China are actually led by young people. Yes. These kids have all come out of the communist oh. system. They want nothing to do with it. They only so want to spread the love of Jesus to everybody they meet. Mm. So the joy in their hearts. This is a music school. Well, that's the cover anyway. It's really a training school for students who want to be pastors. Mm. The government thinks they're simply learning to play instruments. One thing I quickly realized about the Chinese church is that it's a lot different from the American one. For one thing, they think a four-hour sermon is short. In this church service, it's 120 degrees inside the building. The people meet for 12 hours straight. Wow. Mind-blowing. Oh my God. Beautiful. Dennis told me one story about a time he went to a very remote village in China to preach. He was led into a large room where the people were packed so closely together that he had his back to the wall and could reach out and touch the row in front of him. Everyone stood. There was no room to sit. He asked how long he should preach for, and they told him from 8.30 to 7 at night. Then they asked him if it wasn't too much trouble, could you come back tomorrow and preach from 8.30 to 7 again? And then, very sheepishly, they asked again, wow. If you'd be so kind, could you come back the day after that and preach from 8.30 to 7? He asked how often he should take breaks, and they told that's, him not to stop. The people will wait. Then he asked them what he should preach on. Everything, they replied, from Genesis to Revelation. Uh -uh. And then it dawned on him, these people had no Bibles. Wow. After the death of Mao Zedong, the Chinese people, cheated by a false god, began to search for the true god. <coughs> for the first time in their lives, people from the lowest levels of society came face to face with God's unconditional love, with Christ's sacrifice on the cross and with the knowledge that in God's temple they had value and dignity. How could they not rejoice, like everyone who has received the most precious gift in the world?
The first time I went to church, I felt the atmosphere there was really good. I found true meaning in life. I found a peace that I never felt before. Peace in the Lord. So I can say without reservation, I will follow God for the rest of my life. After the service, my soul felt especially sweet and joyful. Lord, how wonderful it will be if we can meet like this every day. I lay away for three nights, overwhelmed with joy. I thought, Lord, what have I received? Why am I so filled with joy? I have no money. I have no family. I have nothing. And you know, I was absolutely sure that this joy came from heaven. Mm, mm, truly, when you are in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. That sorrow will vanish. That pain will fade away. Because when you are in the presence of God, you just see that all you see is peace. All you see is joy. I love how united they are. I don't know why there are no churches over there in China, but the fact that they could at least create a room for themselves to serve God, to worship God. You know, when they started the church on the on, inside the underground, there was no Bible, they would just sing and pray, you know, there was deliverance, there was a lot of things, people started getting to know God more, and beautiful. The one that, the, the part that touched my heart so greatly was when they invited uh, a preacher uh, to come, a minister, and the preacher said, for how long am I coming to minister? It, it, they were like, from 8.30 to 7 p.m., that's Oh, that's 10 hours, 30 minutes. No cheers. And, and the place was so tight. So just that people cannot even get space to, to walk around because the crowd was massive, guys. And the preacher was amazed that, wow, these people are so eager to, to hear the good news of God. And so eager to know God. And so eager to learn. Because it was like, okay. Then they were like, it should come again the next day, the next day, the same time. And it was asking them, what should I preach about? And they were like, anything from, Gen from uh, Genesis to Revelation, preach anything. Genesis, or you can even give us all the messages from Genesis to Revelation. They were so eager to know God. They were so eager to save God. And the beautiful part I love about this video is when they were singing in unison and they are all smiling. I could see the joy, the excitement. The song is so beautiful, guys. So they said that I was singing along with them in the, you know, English translation of the song it was so beautiful and i love people's testimony about christianity telling us that they don't have anything they don't have family but whenever they go to the presence of god they are just happy everything just makes sense when they go to serve god when they go to worship him, everything just like that's what god can do when when you, you know praise him when you pray to him when you serve him man you forget your sorrow that's when things start to work and you know that without god there's nothing there's all things with god but without god all these things are incomplete you get it thank you so much for watching like i'm super super excited watching this at first i was kind of touched when i saw the title of the story of the video that the they worship at the underground i was like oh what happened but later on it was for their own benefit you know wherever you find yourself you can serve god you don't have to be in a very very you know luxurious place or a mighty church to serve god you can serve god anywhere you are you know and that was beautiful to watch thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye